Let's copy the music off this old iPod. Unfortunately, you can't just drag out of iTunes how you'd expect, probably to make it just that little bit harder to share music you'd bought through there. First, plug the iPod into your PC, then open File Explorer and double click on it. To see the folder with the music on it, we'll need to be able to view hidden items. If you haven't enabled that already, go to View and then check the Hidden Items checkbox. A folder named iPod underscore Control will then appear. Double click on it and double click on the music folder. You'll then see a bunch of different folders named F00, F01, F02, etc., depending on how much music's on the iPod. All of these folders are where the music's contained. Create a new folder where you want to store all the music and then copy all of those folders into it. If you double click on each folder, you'll see all the MP3 files, only they all have random names, which is pretty inconvenient. Although these files do still have all the metadata, meaning the song names, titles, track numbers, etc. are still saved. So if you wanted to copy them back onto the iPod, for instance if you're doing a hard drive upgrade on an iPod Classic, or copy them to your phone, they'll still appear as normal. It just means it'll be a little more inconvenient to see what's what in Windows. This will work on all iPod Classics, Minis, Nanos and Shuffles, however if you have an iPod Touch, it's a bit different. As you can see when we plug it in, all we get is the DCIM folder where the photos are stored. For that, we'll need to use some third-party software. The one I use is called 3 u Tools. I'll have the download link for that in the description. After you've installed it, open the program and plug in your device. Once it loads, click on the device, click Music, and then at the top, click Export. Select the location where you want to copy it, then click OK, and it'll copy all your music. This program will retain the file names as well, and it'll also work on iPhones and iPads too. If you want a solution for the iPod Classics, Minis, Nanos, and Shuffles that does retain the file names, it can be done using this free application called FUBAR2000 with the iPod plugin. To do that, first go to the download page and make sure you download the 32-bit version, as the iPod plugin won't work with the 64-bit one. Once it's finished downloading, open it and install the app. Then go to this website to download the iPod plugin. Open FUBAR2000 then click Ctrl plus P to open the Preferences page. Then under Components, select Install and select the iPod component we just downloaded. After it's finished installing, you'll have to restart the application as well. Once that's done, go to File, iPod and Load Library and it'll load all the tracks into the application. To save them to your PC, select the tracks you want to copy or click Ctrl A to select them all. Then right click and select File, Operations, Copy To. Now we need to select the destination folder. You can create a new one on your desktop or wherever you like and then copy the location by clicking up here and then pasting it here. If we were to click Run right now, it'd still save all the files with the gibberish names like when we copied them over earlier. So come down to the File Name Pattern section and change the percent file name percent to percent title percent. This will name all the songs as the track title. If you want to add the artist name to the file name as well, you can type dash percent artist percent afterwards as well. Then click run and it will copy all the music over to the folder with our correct file names. It may take a little while to copy everything over depending how big your music library is. This program is also a pretty good alternative to iTunes for loading music onto your iPod as well. It seems to be much more lightweight and a lot less buggy. And there we have it. There are some other third-party applications you can try such as TouchCopy, SharePoint and iTools so it'll all do the same thing as well. Although they're all paid software and the trial versions will only allow you to do 20 to 50 tracks for free. They do seem a little easier to use than FUBAR if you aren't too tech savvy although I don't think they're worth it for the price. If you want to see more iPod videos like this click the like and subscribe. I hope you are able to save your tunes. Thanks for watching.